Hi, welcome to a calculator tutorial from a quasar. In this video, we will have a getting started tutorial. So we will cover majority of the features, but not everything because this has some other stuff and the video would be very long. This tutorial applies to ELW535XG, ELW531TG, ELW531TH. So this is one of the nicest and latest uh, calculator that have arrived in the late 2017 and early 2018 uh, from Sharp. It has very sleek design with comparing to the older version it looks more like a latest technology uh, but uh, the keys are very bad in terms of quality they will rub off very easily so make sure always cover this uh, with this uh, protective case that comes with. So the calculator Immediately when you turn it on, it always shows in which mode you are, so normal mode. And when you turn it off, you press second function and off. We have some important keys here. This is the on, clear, and off. Then we have up and down and right and left arrow key, which will be used to mm, maneuver or go through some data. All the keys will have two or three type of labeling. For example, if you pay attention to this key, uh, we have, if you press the key, it will f act as a log. And if I, uh, this for this feature, I have to press second function, second F. So because this is like yellow or orange, you need to press the second function, which has the same color. And if you want to print D on the screen, or you recall memory, which I'm going to show you next, you need to press press this alpha button, the same color. So all the keys that have different color, for those bluish color or cyan color, you need to press alpha. And for the rest of the keys, you will press the second function. Some of the keys are related to certain feature. You will see that these will appear when you're in certain mode. Let's say uh, you, you want to do 5 plus 2 times 3. In terms of calculation, the order of operation matters. 2 times 3 will be evaluated first, and then 5 will be added. In previous older calculators, you needed to put a parenthesis, but in this calculator, it will uh, respect the order of operation. 5 uh, plus 2 I'm just pressing all this and equal sign is here. If I need to press this special minus, I will mention times three and the answer will be displayed. If you want to do eight divided by 3.6, eight divided by three for the point or decimal, we use this one, three, six, equal sign, evaluated as decimal, press this change button once it will be simplified and then second time you will see the value and also in here if in case you want to use a parenthesis we are going to use this parenthesis here open a parenthesis three times two close it plus eight plus seven times hundred in this case because we have here multiplication so Parenthesis will be evaluated first, multiplication and division second, and then addition and subtraction. So this will be evaluated, this will be evaluated, and then the result, this plus 8 plus 700 will be added together, which is this answer. Sometimes the setting on your calculator will cause problem, and you want to uh, memory clear, so we have a second function here, MCL. You need to press second function in MCL. Here it says, what you want to do just the memory display or reset so you can set the display or reset uh, memory will uh, remove everything that is in the memory and reset means all the setting of calculators in terms of function and features that you have set will be reset the reset is also at the back of this calculator so you can press it with a pen and hold it for a few seconds when the calculator is on it will happen so for this I'm selecting 2 and it says press 0 to initialize all data clear so I'm pressing 0 here and initialization is done the data is cleared if you want to just say let's say in this calculation you want to just change this to mm, subtraction with the left arrow 
if you move the cursor will appear if go here and here when you're here backspace always clears the character before it not the tree so if I press this it goes back change it to subtraction and equal sign and it will continue like that if you want to just delete a value this del works with a second function bring the cursor here and then second function del it will just clear that if you want the next one bring the cursor over the letter second function del this way you can delete and then we have clear all now if you look here if I go up I will see values this two arrow shows if you want to clear all CA second function CA now nothing is available so you cannot scroll up and down and if you want to do 3 6 over 8 this time this button will be used so press 6 second function this button it's placed here and then the value is ready for you so press 6 now with the arrow come down and then enter 8 if you want to evaluate it as decimal press this change button once it will be simplified and then second time you will see the value for this case press 4 and then this squared and you can continue with your calculation or just 4 squared and then equal sign will be evaluated or if you have 4100 and squared if you need to do uh, in this case you cannot use that squared we will use y to the power x so four and then press this the cursor will appear at the top so you can put two plus one or uh, whatever you wish you press equal sign or if you make mistake just plus cursor add something here or even if you want to change that go once the cursor moves up and you can change it to let's say something five plus one if you want to do minus 2 squared we know that minus 2 squared will be 4 because minus 2 times minus 2 let's see here that you have to press this minus 2 and then squared and the answer is incorrect the reason for that is that the calculator makes 2 squared and then multiplies by a negative 1 to eliminate the error open a parenthesis this small minus 2 and then close squared now the answer will be correct if you want to do the same thing 5 to the power 4.3 5 and xy 4.3 this is the value if you want to use one of the constant values like pi the pi has a dedicated button so clear just press pi the value is here and you can do your calculation beside it and you, you, you see it here if you just want to display the value press equal sign and you will see it if you want to get the actual decimal number press change button Euler number is also another number that uh, frequently you might need it Euler number is however a green here it's like greenish or cyan so press alpha and then E so that E appeared so you can do it in the calculation like before or press equal sign to get the value Fix is a feature that you have certain number of digits let's say for um, working with finance you want to have always two decimal places to activate fix press setup that means fix scientific engineering one and then zero now if you want two decimal places, like say with working with money so press two now there will be two decimal places and the rest will be discarded 6658 divided by 21 press equal sign so 31.33 and then the rest have been discarded and if I press clear you will always see to the same place the same way you can do 2 3 4 5 and then scientific now let's go back to normal or change it to scientific set up 1 and then we have scientific and then scientific now let's go back to normal or change it to scientific set up one and then we have scientific in scientific notation you can have scientific notation you can have significant digits let's say in calculus or physics or chemistry you need three decimal places or two whatever is significant digits or three di significant digits press three now you will see it something like this 
let's say 3 divided by 1524 if I press change you will see always three significant digits here uh, 5 divided by uh, 8 three significant digits even if you do 10 divided by 2 you will see two uh, three significant digits if you go to normal press setup one and then normal in normal we have two types normal one normal two let's press number three and that is normal one so here it shows in one on the screen so that will help you so one divided by 200 and if i press change you will see it as regular value that's normal one now let's go set up one and then four normal two it changed to normal two now if i press change you will never be able to see 0 0.00 that we were looking at. so it's five times ten to the power minus four it was 0 0.005 and now let's go back set up one and then three is normal one to work with angle the screen it shows degree now it's degree if you want to change it to radian or gradient press setup drg degree radian gradient press zero and then select a value this is degree now let's say you want it to, for radian press one and the same way other values let's say you want to convert 45 degrees to radian this calculator can do it for you there is a dedicated button for drg conversion here so from now on i'm going to use uh, that to convert and in order to convert to uh, radian we have to be in the mode that you are entering so for degree entering degree i must be in degree set up zero and then zero now i'm in degree 45 degrees now second function and drg it has been converted to radian you want 300 radian to degree now the screen is in radian when i convert it, it the system changes so that's good I, I don't have to do anything 300 radian and then second function and drg it shows now gradient not degree and it changed so what you do is you do one more time second function drg and the same value have been changed to 17188 radian now we have 73.4 degrees to gradient so now it's in degree 73.4 second function drg it's in radian one more time now it's in gradient 81.815 over 9 or 81.55 mm, cosine of 8.5 degrees so this is in gradient setup 0 0 in degree cosine of 8.3 that's a value sine of 42 sine of 42 just press and enter you don't have to put parenthesis but if there is a calculation let's say uh, after that so to eliminate it because you can have sine of some plus num numbers like this so this will be a value but also you can have sine of 45 and then open close parenthesis plus this that this means evaluate and then add 3 to the result if you need to enter in radian let's say sine of pi over 2 first you have to be in radian setup 0 1 now we are in radian sine of here you can uh, put pi over and then two the answer is one now we have a sine inverse so some angle sign have been taken and the answer is 0 0.8 we want to find the angle so inverse sine of 0 0.8 is what angle if you want the angle in radian it should be in radian if you want it in degree it should be in degree now i want this one in degree so set up zero zero in degree now i press second function and the same sign now it has inverse of sine press it that is minus you don't have to enter parenthesis if you don't have anything behind it 0 0.8 it will be just fine 53.1 degrees same way cosine so cosine now for that minus i'm using this one zero sorry uh, second function cosine that's cosine inverse negative 0.5 you get 120 degrees 
To do the square root of uh, some values, press square root first and then your number, you get the answer. If you need cube root, we have a dedicated cube root with second function. So second function and three will be printed. One, two, seven, you get the answer. To get fifth root, type five and then uh, second function and then death button x, y. You see five and then now it allows you to enter one, let's say 187 and that's the fifth root of 187, 187. If you want to do something like this, square root of 2.5 over sine of 25, press the square root and then uh, 2.5 and then press A over B, the cursor moves down, sine of 25, exactly the same way that you see it here, plus equal sine and you get the answer. Again, we have to pay attention to the degree setting, so this is treated as 25 degrees. If you want to do log of 41, press log 41 and this is the answer. With a calculator you have to be careful that if you don't have a base here by mm, convention we assume that this is base 10 but if you need to do let's say base of other values log base 2 of 18 for that we have second function of this pi that is log a of x second function and then the cursor here blanks 2 and with the arrow go here and then 18 so this is log base 2 of 18 and if you need log base 3 over 176 3 of 176 if you need ln of 41.67 or natural logarithm press this ln 41.65 you get the result if you need to do 3 times 10 to the power uh, 4 because we have times 10 to the power 4 it's used a lot there is a button for that exp so we just press 3 exp this exp means times and then 10 and so it eliminates m 3 keys to the power 4 and that's the answer if you need 1 times 10 to the power of minus 2 the same thing 1 exp this time press this special minus and then 2. Now you don't need to put parentheses but if you have calculator calculation after that then you have to put everything inside the parentheses like this 1 times 10 to the power minus 2 and then you do the rest if you have some calculation. If you need to do this is always 10 we have a dedicated button here 10 and then you just uh, press second function log and then it's 10 and they just press 3. So if you need 10 to the power minus 2, same thing, second function, 10, and then minus 2, special minus. It will do the job for you. If you need to do a base Euler number, the same way as 10, and now we have Euler number to the power 4.12. There is a button here, second function, ln. Now Euler number is at the base and we have 4.12. The other key that is used a lot, we have uh, most of the time you have a number uh, beneath 1, so 1 over some number, 1 over 5 let's say. For that we have a button here and that is with a second function of x squared. So what you do is press 5 second function and this you will see 5 to the power minus 1 and that's the answer. It's 12 second function and that is the value let's do some percent here uh, for the percent we have a button here with second function of one from now I'm gonna use that so what you do you do it two ways you can do 20 times 15,000 tw 20 times 15,000 and then second function percent the only thing is just bring because this is multiplication this percent at the end as soon as you press percent you get the value which is 3000 or you can do 15,000 times 20 second function percent both of them are the same and can be asked the other way for example you will be asked 3000 of what percent is 15,000 so you want to find that 20% to do that 
do 3000 times 100 divided by 15,000 and you get 20% that 20 is a percent or you can get a question like this 3000 is 20% of what amount we know it's 15,000 let's find it 3000 times 100 divided by 20 pay attention here 3000 times 100 and times 100 here the unknown is just divided and we get 15,000 now using memory uh, this calculator has uh, the following memories with the blue letters or cyan a b c d e f x y m these are all memories we can store uh, values and recall them and use them in your calculation to store a value press uh, bring the number on the screen press store and a corresponding button for example if you want to store 3 into a press 3 store and now any button if i press it will go to that if i press a three is into a now 40 into b 40 store b 10 into t uh, d store d x into 12 12 into x sorry 12 into x and minus 9 store into y and if you want to recall any value just press recall a it will bring you the value if you want to use any calculation just press backspace and let's say whatever is the value of a plus 65 now if you want to do 2b plus a over 3 minus d 2x let's do it 2 recall b plus recall a divided by 3 minus recall D to recall X remember recall and X is the same button so I press recall and then X now this is exactly the same way on the screen press equal sign you will get error to find the place that causes the error just press left arrow it goes and blanks at that point that caused the error because we have two memory values and here is a number it's confusing for the calculator we have to print uh, uh, we have to put a multiplication sign so multiply and then where the arrow comes to this side of 2 and then put another multiply sorry backspace multiply so if I go to the right this is X and that's multiply one is large but the one is smaller equal sign that's the answer the other type of memory is addition and subtraction with memory so what it does is let's say you have a, a list of expenses grocery or whatever you want to add and some of some values you have you want to add calculate this and add this on top of that calculate this add it on top that is a separate memory plus memory minus for that purpose so make sure that there is no previous value if we have any value in this memory there will be an m now two parenthesis open 3 plus 6 close and then now just press M plus you see M appeared and the value have been added to recall the value press recall and then M it will bring you the value of M to continue adding 8 times 200 and then M plus now this has been added now let's add this on top of all of all of those 1.56 minus 4.56 times 65 close and then press M plus this now uh, uh, clear and then recall M this is a value and that you see it now sometimes you wanted to make sure that it's clear before you enter any values just store zero into memory m memory m is like other letters there is a special memory so press zero on the screen and then store and then m you see m disappears and you can continue that. factorial when you have uh, from one to some number multiplied and the result is called factorial one times two times three times four is called factorial four factorial to do that press four and then second function and then the, the same four has factorial sign here 
backspace second function factorial if I press equal sign that's the answer same way for the sex is one up to six six second function factorial but you cannot put for example 125 factorial one two five second function factorial this will be very large and calculator cannot handle it and you will get this error sometimes you need to display values regularly in certain format or maybe change it let's say you have uh, 3400 and if I press second function so this is 1 over 434,000 if I press change it will show like that but you want not to change the setting of your calculator just momentarily see this in engineering mode we have two buttons here green which you press with the alpha so ENG with the left arrow ENG with the right arrow I'm gonna mention it whichever I press now now alpha and left arrow it changed it it moved the decimal point it made it 294 times 10 to the power minus 6 with all these decimal points if I press it one more time with the left it makes it 9 and move the decimal point but if you want to go to the right and then move the decimal point to the left so I'm pressing alpha and the ENG to the right you see it moved ENG to the right it moved again it moved again ENG to the right it moved again so this way you can arrange values or the same way 1 over 1000 let's look at the recurring recurring decimal place you do 10 divided by 3 if I check this it will be 3.3333 and we know it's recurring if you want to eliminate this long list and then calculator to tell you there is an option press setup and then this arrow shows that we have more options go down and then recurring decimal number five now I press one to activate recurring uh, display of recurring press equal sign now it will show and if you press change it will also show you the other format that with a bar at the top that it shows the tree is reoccurring now let's go back to uh, normal uh, re uh, re turn it off go with the arrow down and then five and then zero now we will see it modulus modulus or modulo or mod sometimes people call it is a uh, division to a whole number and displaying the remainder for example if you divide 5 by 3 to a whole uh, in terms of whole number 5 divided by 3 would be 1 3 and then 2 remainder we, we don't we can we are not allowed to have fraction to do this we have a special button here int with the division so that's the second function so you type 5 and then instead of this division go second function and this button and then 3 so this means 5 divided by 3 but that is with modulo now it, sh is, it shows quotient is 1 and remainder is 2 and let's say 147 and then second function division and 60 quotient is 2 and remainder is 27 combination and, uh, is used a lot in statistics uh, one example would be let's say you have a 40, uh, 49 balls and you're allowed to take six and you will not put them back we usually it looks in lottery for example so 49 and then this is a button for that with a five second function five and you'll see c so that is n c r and then so let's say you are picking up uh, six now it shows 13 million 900 so 13.9 million so the chances of winning in lottery if you pick six out of 49 numbers would be one in 13.9 or one in 14 million and this this is for permutation 45 second function and you press six that's NPR and then three so this is the result random number this calculator can generate a lot of different random number there is a key for that so second function clear sorry let's clear it second function random the first one is when you when this is on the screen if i press equal sign continuously it gives me a a value between 0 0.001 0 0.01 up to 0 0.999 
it, it will never be 1. As you can see, the value at the top is always smaller, so it will never be 1. The other one is second function random. 2 is, di is dice. So this is like rolling a dice. Rolling dice, so 0, 6, 0, whatever, so between 0 to 6. And the second function random. If I press 2, this will be like a coin. Head and tail, or 0 and 1. So it shows 0, 1, 0, 1. This is all random. And then second function random. Now 3 is within a range. Let's say you want to generate a random number between 12 and then put here comma and 180. Close. So this will generate a random number between 12 and 180. Just press equal sign. Continuously you will get numbers. I'm pressing it again, again. So you see it's never violating that rule. We have three buttons here that can be programmed for any function that you use a lot. For example, if you are using uh, this uh, 1 over uh, x or 1 over some value, then you have to press second function and this button. And if you want to eliminate it just pressing with this button, we can program it. Press store d1 and now d1 is ready. Just press second function and the function that you want or just a button, let's say you want x squared also can be there. But for now, x to the power minus 1. So second function this, and it shows stored. Now this button is uh, 1 over, so 5 d1, you see 5 to the power minus 1. And let's say you want to do the modulo, or uh, modulus, or the remainder, because you have to press this button and this, but you want it here. So store and d2. Now it's just waiting for you, second function, and then this button. Now if I do uh, 65 modulo 3, so quotient is 21, remainder is 2, and you can program the other one as well. That's it. So this was uh, as much as possible that I could include here. I, have, I will have another video about some of, uh, other features of this because the video will be very long. For example, binary decimal hexadecimal conversion angle conversion and uh, deeply using some other features of this on uh, statistics so for that reason please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming video please thumb up the video if you like it and also share it i appreciate it thank you for watching